Señor Presidente. Mr. President, Peru aligns itself with the statement made by Honduras on behalf of the Community of Latin American and Caribbean States, CELAC, by Uganda on behalf of the Non-Aligned Movement, and by Iraq on behalf of G77 and China. Moreover, we welcome here among us the Minister for Foreign Affairs of Cuba, Bruno Rodriguez Barria. Every year, this General Assembly reiterates its staunch conviction that it is necessary to put an end to the economic, commercial, and financial embargo imposed against Cuba. Last year, 187 delegations, which make up almost all the member states of this organization, expressed unequivocal support for the lifting of the embargo. The broad support this resolution receives every year refre reflects the opinion of almost all of the international community and is a crystal clear signal that the time has come to put an end to such unilateral measures so that Cuba can make progress along its journey to sustainable development. Mr. President, the most recent report of the Secretary General on the issue under discussion today contains its diagnosis according to which many bodies, organizations, agencies and programs of the UN system, uh, the diagnosis according to which there are damaging effects that the embargo has on their work. For example, the Office of the High Commissioner of Human Rights provides examples that demonstrate the adverse effects of the blockade on the rights of the Cuban people to health, food and education. For its part, the UNDP states that the negative effects of the embargo have increased exponentially and have become more targeted and much graver in nature than in previous years, particularly in terms of commercial and financial activities. UNDP adds that the blockade also affects the opportunities for local and national development and damages the economic situation of the Cuban people. Moreover, the blockade has an impact on the most vulnerable groups of the population and on human development in general. Once again, UNDP, what's more, states that the blockade has had direct effects on all development programs and projects and emergency activities of the UNDP because the blockade increased transactional costs in terms of obtaining inputs for projects and increasing cost and time for the transport of imported goods. The cost of imposing a uh, rather Peru believes that the unilateral act of imposing a blockade is incompatible with international law, the principles of peaceful coexistence, and the UN Charter. Moreover, the blockade runs counter to the norms of international trade and the principles of cooperation between states. The only legitimate sanctions are those adopted by the Security Council within its remit to maintain international peace and security in accordance with Chapter 7 of the UN Charter. In light of the above, Peru will, uh, as part of a state's policy that has been in place for more than than 30 years will vote once again in favor of the draft resolution entitled Necessity of Ending the Economic, Commercial, and Financial Blockade Imposed by the United States of America Against Cuba. To conclude, Peru reiterates its staunch commitment to the principles of the UN Charter and of international law, in particular its commitment to the sovereign equality of states, non-intervention and non-interference in domestic affairs, in the international freedom of trade and navigation, and the human rights and fundamental freedoms of all. These must be respected and enjoyed by all states without exception. Thank you. I thank the representative of Peru.